have received reports of a break-in. Officers needed Atlantic Hill. Over. beat this wrestler right after getting my powers. Never had that much money before in my life. Or since, come to think of it. Oh yeah, that blind guy gave me his card in case Spider-Man ever needs a lawyer. Wait, hold on. If he's blind, how did he know I was Spider-Man? That's a hold up. Uh. Oh, you started without me. Spider Man, get him. Don't give up, Spidey. <laughs> Always nice to stop a mugging. Gotta stay strong in the fundamentals. Thank you. I always thought Fisk would protect me. I was wrong. silent alarm at the auction house.
and that's that. Every crime tower in the city's now repaired. Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites, like peanut butter and chocolate, or breakfast for dinner. The two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. I think are worthy of further discussion, like this one. I've heard reports of Spider-Man hovering around radio towers. At first, I thought he was sabotaging them. But a far more alarming possibility came to mind. In his misguided delusion that he is protecting us, is he hacking into all our conversations? Business deals, credit card transactions. Those personal calls with the wife when you're on a long, lonely book tour. I mean, when one is on a book tour, I wasn't talking about myself. I don't do that sort of thing. And anyone who thinks they have recordings of me doing it is wrong. Who's oh, there? The menu... Gotta have something to do on stakeouts.
Spider-Man. Coward to assault a helpless person like that. Guys, not to mess with. Try and guess how I feel about bullets. What, it's not fun getting beat up? We'll sit with that for a while. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Units be advised, a kidnapping was just reported. Report came from the vicinity of Riverside. My suit's onboard AI can tell me the most likely area where the victim is. After I got my powers, I didn't need my glasses anymore. Told everyone I got laser eye surgery with money from the Fisk Science Prize. Fashion hold up. This is crime stopping right there. Got a split before the cops get here. Never know how they'll react to me.
Got eyes on a fist construction site and their equipment's covered in dust. Just there for show? That's my bet. I'm gonna take a closer look. What are we supposed to do against that? He can't take the goal! We can't let him beat us! Mess with me, man. Help! 
Captain, I've got Fisk's guys and all the probable cause you need, webbed up and waiting. Good job. Fisk thinks he can run things from inside, but he's gonna find out why long-distance relationships don't work out. down there. People might be hurt. Yuri said quietly. Better find a back way in. I think that debris is trapping someone inside that car. Don't panic. I'm here. Guys robbed a bodega You're okay, in my boat. They caused the wreck. I need to find whoever caused this wreck before anyone else gets hurt. I hate 
to tell you this, guys, but I see a lot of drivers heading your future. Somebody shoot him! Yeah. <laughs> Sit quietly. Better find a back way in. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Woman push, ship by. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy webbed up like that. Web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. Awesome. 
没东西，继续吧。Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to... Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... It was. Oh, I uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh huh? Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here. No moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. For Press one. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. Fisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. <laughs> Dude had no self-awareness. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. <sighs> Fisk cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. Hmm. Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions, being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be, at least.
can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto, so beautiful. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. But life and work are here. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. What did Fisk call this? Vanessa? Hated this cane. So tacky. Starting with the prize, a one of a kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hello? Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. 
Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. I don't believe you. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? I wonder if there are any clues in here. That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. She certainly is cozy with Fisk. A statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Maybe these pieces move. mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Maybe I should turn the head. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. That's not right. Fits, but it's not the right one.
Hmm. Nope. Fits, but it's not the right one. Sir, you you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in, in there. Ba Wen Jin Zao Su Lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. This is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. No! Yes! All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight.
one room at a time. Clear this out before I continue. All of them. No! Let me go! MJ! Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage taking guys. What is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Uh, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Daily cardio? Check. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? <laughs> that... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix. <laughs> like the last six months never happened.
Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, you know if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Location is near the theater district. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grant committee stops by again. Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Available units need response to a break in. Please mobilize towards flat iron. Over. Hi, Herman. 
Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just blow me down! Wow, that's considerate. Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? What? Do you only answer to shocker now? Shocker! Shocker! Ah, falling behind! Gotta hurry! Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? Do you only answer to Shocker now? <laughs> gotcha. Now let's talk. I said... I'm done! Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move! I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone! You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Never enough. Gotta move. Move, move, move! Ah, I'm falling behind. Getting away. Need to keep up. Gotta hurry.
Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. It's your choice. Not enough. Move, move, move! Gotta hurry. Gotta move. He's getting away. Honestly, Hermit, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Falling behind! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. 
Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with Jake. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Hey, kid. How's all the science stuff? Think of what you want, and the universe will send it to you. I could really use a muffin. A blueberry muffin. Yo, Pete, that hand of yours is a saint. Doesn't pay much, but rather live on the street than ask my parents for help.
Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city.
officers respond. We have a kidnapping in progress. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Attention units. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> That's right. How did I lose track of time? Doing a little nighttime bird watching? Well, I was watching for nocturnal raptors in the park when I noticed a bunch of men armed with rifles over at Belvedere Castle. Thanks for the heads up, Miss, uh... Stephanie, let me know if I can help. I'll keep an eye on the activities from up here. Thanks for the assist, Stephanie. Why would armed men be at Belvedere Castle? Got a hunch they're not tourists. Fisks, man. This isn't good. It's him! Get down here and fight like a man! Smoke him! You got this coming! That's all of them. Let's find out what they were up to. Not sure what's going on here. I wonder if there's any info I can get from this flash drive. Awesome. Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great, I'll check it out. You've got buddies. Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rat! Try positive reinforcement. You know, pigeons are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats!
Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great. I'll check it out. We got buddies. Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rats! Try positive reinforcement. You know, pigeons are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats thing. Maybe we can make a deal? Whatever Fisk is paying you in birdseed, I'll double it! Got one. But he doesn't have the drive. Back to the laptop to see what Fisk's men were up to. Looks like they were uploading a worm to the Central Park Wi-Fi system. This could give them backdoor access to a ton of personal data. Come to think of it, even I use this network. Wait, it's still uploading remotely. There must be multiple access points. Stephanie, you're my eyes in the sky. See anything else strange in the park? Uh, I see a pair of horned owls and... Oh, more guys at a nearby junction box. Thanks. Keep a lookout for anything else. I need to get to that junction box before the upload completes. If they can't access the laptop, they can't upload. He's in! Keep him on the ground! Thanks for the heads up. I better get moving. Two more? I never thought I'd say this. Why does Central Park need such strong Wi-Fi coverage? I thought people came here to get away. There they are. We need to keep them away from that box. That time. Got eyes on Spider-Man! Are you kidding me? Heads up! I see him! You're done for! It off. I see him. 
People of Manhattan can rest easy knowing that their passwords and cat videos are safe. Spider-Man? I think they might have seen me. Oh no. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure. Armed men just arrived. Lock the roof entrance and hold tight. I'm on my way. You say hi to my kid? There's no way you're really special. need to get to Stephanie before Fisk's men do. She wouldn't be involved if it weren't for me. They're trying to break down the door. We know you're working with the spider. Open up! Nearly there. Split up and find the girl with the binoculars. Help the spider man. Take him out. Then toss the girl over the edge. Check on Stephanie. Oh, thank you, Spider-Man. That was a little more exciting than my average night of birding. Hey, thank you. Your eagle eye stopped an incarcerated crime boss from harvesting half the city's personal data. Not too shabby, huh? Plus, I found a nest of red-breasted nuthatches when you triple kicked that guy in the face. Real beauties, too. You want to check them out? Thanks, but uh, I think I'll focus on jailbirds for now. myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, aka the Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. in progress. Reported location is in the vicinity of Nomad. Thank you. 
break-in was just reported. Incident was reported near the meatpacking district. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. We should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help. I'll think of something.